What is going on, everybody? Stephen Freshy on the scene here with Infernoble Knights. Let's go. We finally got Infernoble support, that being Renaud, Charles, and um, the Synchros. Um, but yeah, um, as you guys seen from the replay, um, it, it, it has a pretty sick grind game. Um, you could summon like Gear Freed like 10 times in the same duel as you guys seen. Um, I'm playing it. I think you have to play it for Noble Knights with this skill because like they need a they need a second win con because Charles on its own isn't enough. So you need something else. Um, but yeah, this is the deck. Um, very cool, very cool stuff. Um, if you guys um, want a quick combo tutorial, I guess I can give it to you. Um, basically, um, the main combo you want to you want to do you want to end on your Charles. Um, and in order to do that, you need two cards, two pieces to the puzzle. You need your Ogier, and you need your Renaud. And what you want to do is you normal summon Ogier, you send the Durandal, then you special summon your Renaud, you add back the Durandal, then you equip the Durandal to either one, and then you synchro summon into your Roland, and then you trigger Durandal to revive the Ogier. And then you use um, Roland's effect to search a monster in the end phase. And then uh, with Durandel, you, you resummon your Ogier. So you have this is a tuner, by the way. So this is a level five tuner plus your level four. You make your level nine Charles. And then in the end phase, real important, you want to do, you want to resolve Roland first. You want to resolve Roland first, and what you're going to do is you're going to send your Excalibur to the graveyard, and you're going to search either your follow-up um, or, or a veil, if you think you need your veil. Um, and then you're going to use um, Charles' effect to re-equip the Excalibur and then attach an Ogier from the deck. So at that point, you're untargetable and indestructible by card effects. And um, that's two of your, two of your spell trap zones. Um, taken up and then during the main phase you could use your Captain Roland's effect in the graveyard to attach itself to Charles to pop non-target pop a card on the field um I, I'm playing one Roland because I found like some hands some brick hands uh, Roland helps with Roland helps with some of the brick hands for example um like I like like I opened like double O gear plus like um plus like gear freed and um Ogier by itself doesn't do anything unless you have like Renaud. So it, for a hand where all you open is like, like Ogier and some text, you can use Ogier to send Roland to the graveyard to search follow up um, in the end phase. And um, um, if, you, if, if if also if you're going up against a matchup where, where you think they don't they don't destroy cards that much, um, what what I like to do is um, with that same combo I just told you guys um, instead of using Charles to equip an Ogier from the deck, you can equip Magus from the deck, and then if something happens to your to your Charles and Magus goes to the graveyard, you can shuffle three cards from your graveyard back or, or banish pile back into the deck and draw a card, which comes up a lot. And I really like Astolfo. Astolfo, you may think it takes a long time, like it, it's too slow, it takes a long time to, to resolve, but it, 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 it also works as an extender because some some like if you open like ogier you, let's say you normal summon your ogier and let's say they just offerings to the doomed it for example what you can do is um you can activate your astolfo from hand banish your ogre from the graveyard special summon and this becomes a four because you banished a four and then you could special summon your renaud so so this is a this is a really good extender as a one of also the graveyard effect um, you banish them from a graveyard, and after your second standby phase, you revive this card from the banish pile, and then you could revive any fire warrior from your banish or graveyard, even revive your gear free, which is really good. Um, also, I, I believe you have to run the joyous, the joyous. Um, there's there there is a couple of couple of uh, games to where like like I said, if all you open is O gear, let's say if you open O gear plus uh, joyous, that's all you have. What you can do is you can summon your Ogier, send Gear Freed, then equip the Joyous to your Ogier, add back the Gear Freed, then you can use a skill and summon your Gear Freed and it gives you a disruption. 
Um, but yeah, also one living fossil, um, just as an, an extra equip and an extender. Like I said, if they if they pop your Ogier, activate your living fossil, it's searchable as well. So, and you can add it back with um, your your Renaud. So you can summon this if it gets popped. You get living fossil, and then you can extend with your Renaud and, and go into your combo. But yeah, you definitely want to run an Excal Excalibur, and it's too good not to run. Um, having an untargetable Charles is really good, um, and it'll win you a lot of games. But yeah, um, try to keep it as the deckless as low as possible. That's why I'm not playing that many techs. Um, your three Chalice, if, if you only have one one Chalice, you can still play it. Just play it at um, 22 cards. But yeah, um, I'm really excited for this deck. Um, I'm gonna get King of Games. I might even Casey Cup Max with this. I might even experiment with it in stage two. But yeah, this is my Infernoble Knight deck. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Steve Freshy, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.